What's up guys, T Finchstick here, back with another Star Citizens Buyer's Guide video. Today is a very exciting day. We just got Alpha 311, uh, and along with it, we have three new ships. The 100i, the 125a, and the 135c, all from Origin. They're all the variant of the 100 series. Uh, and today, we're going to take a look at those ships. The first ship we're going to look at is the 100i. This is the starter slash touring variant of the 100 series. The ship is $45 at the war bond price. That is if you spend new money on the game. Uh, otherwise, it is $50. There is a $60 starter package for this ship, along with an $80 package that gives you Squadron 42. This is going to be a problem for this ship, as we're going to talk about here in a little bit. The pricing on these ships is going to be one of their biggest downfalls. I avoided spoilers as much as I could uh, and did not play in the PTU uh, in an attempt to get a first look at the ship here with you guys. Um, first off, this ship is gorgeous. Uh, the reflection off of it, kind of in the way I see Origin is the iPhone of this world. Um, beautiful, sleek looking ships, form over function, uh, if you will. Uh, but let's open this puppy up, hop inside and see how she does. A big selling point for the 100 series is that everything in the ship is interactable. Uh, this is the first ship that does this, but it is a plan for the entire game. Uh, first things first to note, there is no animation for getting in the ship. Uh, you just walk it. Well, hello there. So there is no animation for getting onto the ship. That is very nice. Kind of takes you out of that immersive feeling. Um, that is very, very nice. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to close the door here. Oh, maybe the panel here. Close the door. <clears throat> Pretty sweet little animation there, actually. Wow. They really put some effort into that door. Uh, looks like we have a bed here. Yep, lie down, sit down. Uh, what do we have back here? Open door. So it looks like this is our little storage container area. Uh, the ship does have two SCU of cargo space. I'm going to assume that's what they consider the two storage spaces. Uh, let's hop in the pilot seat and take a look. Alrighty. From the outside, this ship is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the wheels on these ships, um, but just the initial looks of this ship, this thing is beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Uh, well done on the design there. Uh, let's take off. Can I get a feel for the acceleration? Wow. This thing accelerates. Okay. Slam the brakes, spin back. And it handles really well too. Uh, honestly, this might feel nice on the, the race course. So initial looks around the cockpit. Looks like we have uh, looks like we have four screens around the cockpit here as well as the radar there in the middle. Um, I do like set destination. Okay. That's cool that the, the map on the screen actually works. Um, that is very nice. Wow. I love that. I know some other ships have that, but I don't know if they're that interactable yet. Um, that looks like that is actually fully functional. Four screens. Uh, that's quite nice. All the information we need right there. Very open cockpit. No view below you, but uh, up and above and to the sides, very open cockpit. Uh, very nice uh, to see that. All right, let's take a look at the loadout on this ship. Um, it comes equipped with two size 2 missiles along with two gimbaled size 2 guns. The guns throughout this series are all the same. Uh, most of what varies is going to be the missile quantity and then also the shields. This ship comes equipped with one size 1. Uh, it is a lower quality shield than the other variants. Alright, let's see how she does in combat. Cutlass Black. That is a nice target right out of the gate here. Not an easy kill by any means. Contact. Alert. Weapon systems overheating. Alert. Weapon systems overheating. Our guns do like to overheat. Too close for my missiles, is what it's saying. Let's try to get away here. 
here and shoot my missiles off. Uh, missile updates came today, so could be some things we're not used to yet. In range, here we go. Achieved. One missile out. Got something for you. Flares there worked real well. Weapons overheated again. This is his decoy. I guess he decoyed my missiles there, it looks like. Without missiles, this cutlass is going to be a hard takedown. There we go. Took a little bit, but got the kill. These slower firing weapons aren't as rewarding on the uh, feedback. You don't feel like you're doing nearly as much to somebody, but there we go. That guy went down real quick. That felt nice. So, final thoughts on this ship. Um, the usefulness of this ship, I don't really see one. Uh, it is just a slightly better looking uh, ship. Um, it's not really the best fighter at two SCU of cargo space. You're not gonna do any kind of hauling. Um, I guess you could do some delivery missions with that, with that compartment, um, but all around this ship is not that useful. Should you buy this ship? No, uh, this ship gets a no stamp from me, unless for some reason you just love the look of this ship and this is gonna be your one and only ship uh, and you don't really care about gameplay that much. This ship's not going to beat any any ship around its category uh, in any way. There's not a standout reason to buy this ship other than the looks of the ship. Uh, it is a cool looking ship. It is a fun little ship. Uh, um, at the $60 price range, it is competing with some top-notch starter ships. Yeah, it, it directly competes with the Pisces, uh, and it's getting really close to the Avengers series, uh, which is an absolutely incredible ship. Uh, so, this ship gets my no... This ship gets a no from me. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you like the new ships? Uh, do you think they look as good as I think they look? Uh, let me know down in the comments. If you're new to Star Citizen uh, and just trying to get in the game, make sure you use a friend code. Uh, I'll link my friend code down below. Uh, but if you have a friend who got you in the game, a friend code is going to start you out with a little extra money and help them earn rewards. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos. I'm going to cover the rest of this series. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss those videos as well. And I'll see you next time.